Hello everyone, welcome to NGLS, Nationwide Global Language School, with your English teacher, Wa Anri. Today, I am going to give you details or explain something which is very important in the English language. What is it? Today, we are going to talk about to be. To be, as you know, is considered as the most important verb in English. To be is used to describe something or someone. In English, it can be used to say different things according to the context. However, the most use of to be is to talk about name, age, feeling, profession, and nationality, especially when talking in the present tense. As you can see in the board, we have to be plus location and we have subject pronoun. But as you know that we cannot talk about verb to be without giving you or without helping you conjugate it or without helping you memorizing the subject pronouns. E are the subject pronoun in English. Let's go. We have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. I want you to repeat. Let's go. I, you, he for a boy, she for a girl, it sometimes animal or thing, we. You, but basically when you say you, the E word is included. And they, the E word is not included. For example, if I say you have to do your homework, now I'm talking to you. But for example, if I say they have to do the homework, now I am not included. So let's go. Uh, we are going to talk now about to be plus location. Now, talking about to be plus location, there is a question word that they often use to talk about to be plus location. For example, if you want to talk to me, you don't see me. Now, what is the question? Can you ask a person to know where exactly teacher Henry is? Now, let's go. We have where. You say, where is teacher, for example, Joba Ba? Yes. Hey, where is teacher Joba Ba? Now, what is the answer? When the person asks you, where is teacher Joba Ba? Now, he wants to know the location of teacher Joba Ba. How do you answer? Now, you can say, teacher, Jobaba, Jobaba is in the classroom. Yes. Teacher Jobaba is in the classroom. And now, if talking about classroom, we have a lot of objects in the classroom. For example, we have bag, we have pen, we have table, we have chair, we have copy book. All right. For example, if I go out, I get into the class, I don't see my English copybook. Now, what do you say? Where is your copybook? How do you answer? You say, my copy, my English copybook is in the class. Where is your pen? My pen is on the floor. I hope you understand everything. So, now we are going to talk about profession and cities and nationality and place around the city. Now, we use verb to be also to talk about if you want to know the profession of the person. For example, I see you for the first time and we are conversing, we are communicating. So I say, what is your profession? Okay. What is your 
profession. Yes. Hey, what is your profession? What is your profession? Billy, what is your profession? How can you answer? You say, for example, if you ask me that question, you say, what is your profession? I would answer, I would say, I am an English teacher. So, I want you to know this. English, English teacher. But when you say English teacher, it means something. But when you say English teacher, it means another thing. But I think when we talk about stress and intonation, I am going to teach you the difference between English teacher and English teacher. When you put the stress on English or on in, and when you put the stress on T. But I think when uh, I, I'm going to teach you phonetics, and you will you will know more about. So now I am going to teach you about cities and nationality. Okay, can you repeat after me? I am. You are. He is. She is, it is, we are, you are, they are. Hey, let's go. Let's go. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. What is teacher? What are we? I am in the English class. What is teacher Nick's son? He is in the office. What is he doing? I will teach you this in the next video. I'm going to teach. Hey, where is teacher will be? He is at the airport. For example, I go to the airport, I meet Mr. Ruby. I say, hello, Mr. Ruby. Where are you from? Or I can say, what is your nationality? What is your nationality? Okay, you answer. Web to be. I am from Haiti, for example. Uh -huh. If you are from Haiti, so you are Haitian. I'm from America. Or when I say America, I'm going to the United States of America. So I am American. So let's go. Yeah, let's go. I am from. Yes, I'm from Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. I am Jamaican. All right. Now we move to places around the around town now okay there we go do not forget today we talk about to be plus location now i have some question you are going to practice with me where is vanya she's in the park where is cola He's in the bank. Where is your mother? My mother is in the living room. Where is your father? My father is in the kitchen. So I think you enjoy that video because today I talk to you or I give you details about to be or to be plus location. And I think in the next video, we are going to teach you to be affirmative sentence, negative sentence, and interrogative sentence. I hope that you enjoy with teacher Wa Henri, and do not forget to subscribe and give some likes and share the video, and do not forget, do not forget to leave a comment below Thank you so much. It was your teacher, Wa Henri. 
and GLS.